Welcome to The Wraparound. I'm Brayden Darrison. And I'm Nick Stonesever. We'll be covering all the local news in and around State College. All right, um, starting off today's episode, the Creamery has reopened their indoor seating. Now, the, I'm not too privy on the details of this, but I know that it's going to be, I think, like nine tables, oh, wow. four people each. Wow. So what, that's like, carry the two. That's like almost 40 people. In yeah. The creamery. Wow. Yes, I would say so. Um, I don't know. This doesn't affect me at all. I don't really go to the creamery that much, nor do I. You don't want to stand in line for an hour? No, I just don't want to sit inside at the creamery. If I'm going to the creamery, it's going uh -huh. to be in May, and then I'm going to be sitting outside or walking around eating. Well, you could sit outside right now. I know. That way your ice cream won't melt. In fact, it might get colder if you take it outside. That is true. It's probably... I would have to agree with you on that. What's your favorite creamery flavor? Uh, I like peachy paterno, but Pe I feel weird ordering it. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is that? Because uh, you know peaches are such a controversial topic here in State College. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and everybody's split on it one way or another. Everybody has an opinion on peaches, and that just, you know. I don't like to wade into controversy that much. Mm, okay, get it, I get it. Staying out of it. What's your favorite creamery flavor? Mm, that's a good question. I go back and forth between uh, cookie dough and uh, death by chocolate. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's original. Yeah, it is very original. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, um, it is Wednesday as of today when we are filming this, and all across campus there were some alleged Wi-Fi issues. Now. Thankfully, I was nowhere near campus when all of this went down because I would have had some choice words for this section and that would cause problems. So were you anywhere near the Wi-Fi issues? Uh, I didn't even know about the Wi-Fi issues because I was in class and I wasn't on my phone like a bad student. Um, I, I didn't even know till I showed up to the collegiate office and I had to miss a Zoom meeting, but mm. you know. Nothing new. Penn State, yeah, exactly. you know, terrible infrastructure. And I don't understand how it goes down, like, across campus. It goes down, like... like I didn't realize that there was, like, one thing handling all the Wi-Fi on mm -hmm. campus. And it goes down, like, bi-weekly, and then just, like, Penn State IT just tweet out and says, yeah. sorry, we'll figure it out. And That's then you, you, like, get cut out in the middle of a quiz. Thank Look, God that didn't happen to me today. Yeah. Look, I get, I get that, like... Things go wrong sometimes, like I'm not blaming the IT, but it's weird that it happens to like the whole of campus. Mm -hmm. Or it's, what's even worse is when like Canvas shuts down, when LionPass shuts down, mm -hmm. and then you're like, for two hours, you think that it's just on you, and you're just like, well, there goes 50% of my grade because I didn't turn in the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just turn in on time. Yeah. But, well, I'm Nick Stonecipher. <laughs> I'm Brian Dyerson. And this has been The Wraparound. Be sure to subscribe to our social media platforms. Thank you.